In 1990, four European cities signed the Frankfurt Resolution. It acknowledged that the elimination of illicit drug use is not a realistic drug policy goal, and it promoted a new harm reduction approach. Later, many other cities signed on to the resolution and began their own harm reduction programs such as opiate substitution treatment and needle exchange programs. In October 2010, city leaders, professionals and activists gathered in Prague at the Urban Drug Policies Conference to endorse a new manifesto, the Prague Declaration. Watch the HCLU's film to find out why. Now it seems there is a new initiative coming from Prague. Why now and, and why here in Prague? We thought it might be good, especially in the city of Prague, which was quite successful with its drug policy within the last 10, 8 years, definitely, to try to set up a set of very simple principles what we think should be, which we think should be followed if you want to be successful on the local level. Those who really have to tackle the problem uh, in their streets and within their families and elsewhere are on the local level. No size fits all. That means that uh, one uh, intervention policy used, for example, in Budapest is not the right one for the other city around the globe. Realism is the key. We know that beneficial and realistic is to aim to diminish the harms related to drug trafficking as well as drug use. But uh, it's not realistic to aim at drug Free society. Realism is the key. Don't believe on beliefs, believe on evidence. And before you do something, think about it and speak about people who deal with the problem in their professional lives, which means not only so called experts or scientists, but also people from the field, in the services and in the treatment, and uh, the cops, the policemen. You, you have to have them on board and to make them agree and then to say, okay, let's try it, let's evaluate it, and then we'll see. And that's what was done here under the leadership of Pavel Ben. The human rights apply to all, as well as to sick people. So there is no excuse to look at a sick person who is, according to the World Health Organization, sick, ill, and needs our help. People just enjoy taking drugs. There is the pleasure principle. It may be wrong, it may be illegal, but it's there. Um, I think we should not um, perhaps forget what I believe is a fact, which is that most drug use is non-problematical and recreational. Most drug users are not patients. They're just ordinary citizens who have decided, and we're talking about 20% of the European population, if you're talking about lifetime prevalence, that's one in five people. Right now, look around you in this room. How many of us have been at it at some stage in our lives? Okay? So, um, let's not medicalize this too much. The Prague Declaration says that uh, public health and public security is not opposite to each other. Can you explain uh, to, to people what does it mean? The feeling of safety is part of feeling of health, especially of mental health. Minimization, if you want, minimization of risks, of health risk is part of your feeling of security. There is proof and scientific evidence that the interventions that are truly effective for public health are also beneficial for the public safety. Evidence-based decision only for everybody who is designing a local drug policy who is in a responsible position and having a certain element of power. We know that uh, there is a need for permanent evaluation and monitoring of what we are doing, because if something goes wrong, we need to adapt uh, our uh, behavior. We know that we have to share 
are examples of a good practice and to communicate uh, within the regional, local, but also the national levels and also the transnational, uh, global levels. And uh, this is the content of the Pride Declaration. Yesterday you signed the Prague uh, Declaration. Why do you think it's important and how it will help for European cities to develop drug strategies? I think the, the uh, things that are uh, written down in the Prague Declaration are very um, useful, very helpful, because the people who are living nearby, they know best what kind of problems they have and how they could be solved. It's a good um, thing to get more network between cities and to exchange uh, experiences and informations and so we can learn from each other and not everybody has to invent everything by themselves.